Tony Perkins is president of the Family Research Council, and earlier I asked him what he is hearing from the evangelicals. Tony Perkins is the president of the Family Research Council and with me now. Tony, good to see you. So what do you make of it? A lot of the folks say, how could Donald Trump be leading with conservatives, with evangelicals, given his prior positions, some of which I mentioned? Well, Megan, Donald Trump is the result of a Republican leadership uh, here in Washington, D.C., that has been playing political footsies with uh, Barack Obama rather than fisticuffs. And people are simply tired of it, and that includes evangelicals. They're, they're, they're tired of the lip service, and they want to act. And, and Donald Trump is promising it. Now, whether he delivers on that and whether he continues his conversation with evangelicals and corrects some of this uh, miscommunication or these uh, missignals signals that he's been sending is yet to be seen. What do you, I mean, it's interesting to have, you know, at a, a man like Trump who openly admits he doesn't remember if he asked God for forgiveness. Uh, he says, I'm mm -hmm. not sure I have. I just go on and try to do a better job from there, but I don't bring God into the picture. Versus you've got Mike Huckabee, a former pastor up there, Marco Rubio, John Kasich, both of whom are, are devout, and many others are as well. First off, evangelical voters are more complex than people give them credit to. They don't vote just for who goes to church on Sunday. They vote for someone who they feel confident will lead this nation forward. Did you ever get behind a candidate who, who used to support not only abortion, but partial birth abortion? I would have a difficult time unless I see evidence that there's some change. Now, I will tell you, Megan, I've been in politics. I've held public office. I've known a lot of politicians. Past performance is a pretty good indicator of future performance. Not all the time. There can be a, a change that takes place that can explain a transformation. But in most cases, what you've seen in the past is what you'll get in the future.